Hello and welcome to the world of finance, where we deep dive on a multitude of topics that range from stocks, crypto, tax strategies, and much, much more. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload more content like this. Now let's get into it. Apple has grown to become one of the most successful companies in American history. Through its innovative strategies, Apple's stock has risen from a price of 11 cents on October 9, 1982, to being currently $147.27 at the time of this video. Apple was founded on April 1, 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. 46 years later, Apple stands as the second largest company in the world, with a market cap exceeding $2 trillion. Yes, I said it, $2 trillion. Through income diversification, world-class products and a cult-like loyalty from its customers, Apple was able to rake in $365 billion in 2021. At the forefront of Apple is the iPhone, an innovative handheld device that has changed the world and our expectations of our electronics to say the least. But the thing about the iPhone, it isn't just hardware. It combines iOS, an operating system, and the App Store marketplace. The iPhone alone was responsible for over $190 billion in revenue with the release of iPhone 13, 13 mini, Pro, and Pro Max, stamping it as Apple's signature product that is essential to the entire ecosystem. Apple doesn't just create phones. Macs, both desktops, and MacBooks are another breadwinner for the conglomerate. With new versions of the iMac, MacBook 14 and 16-inch, the Mac division of Apple saw its Mac shipments grow from 22,574,000 in 2020 to 28,958,000 in 2021, leading to over $35 billion generated from the Mac's division alone. As I mentioned earlier, Apple isn't just a hardware company. The iPhone has allowed Apple to build a digital empire. Services like the App Store, Apple Care, iCloud, Apple Pay, and Apple Music, iTunes pile onto Apple's already hefty revenue count. Apple Music has over 80 million users and continues to show strong year-over-year -year growth in terms of subscription count. Apple also charges a 30% tax to app developers who make over a million dollars through the App Store for all in-app store transactions. In-app transactions as well as subscriptions, while those who don't meet the $1 million threshold only are charged 15%. Apple Care serves as a kind of insurance in the event something happens to any of your prized Apple products, which makes sense. You don't want to break your $1,000 phone and have to pay another $1,000 to replace it unless you've got Tim Cook money. iCloud, the cloud service used by individuals and businesses alike, also proved to be a strong performer in Apple's portfolio. All in all, the numerous different digital services in unison raked in over $68 billion. Being that these devices are all digital, safe to say diversification isn't a problem for Apple. Highest touted accessories like the Apple Watch and AirPods are also very strong earners for Apple. Following the launch of the AirPods Max in mid-December 2020, as well as the Apple Watch Series 7 in 2021, these launches helped to drive strong sales and further drive up revenue count. These accessories together accumulated for over $35 billion in revenue generated. What Apple made of accessories alone topples most companies' revenues over a 10-year stretch. Jeez. Last but certainly not least, the iPad. I guess you can call it the big brother to the iPhone, but the little brother to the Mac. iPads are very popular amongst children and young adults, as they create their own unique experience. Apple released three different versions of the iPad in 2021, which included the iPad Pro, 5th generation, iPad, 9th generation, and the iPad Mini, which were all successful launches. All in all, the iPad division of Apple was able to rake in over $31 billion. Apple is a behemoth. It's also a world-class company that sets the standards for most of what happens in tech today. Apple as a company provides the world with extreme value, and it shows in their market cap, which today stands at over $2 trillion. If I had to bet on any stock, it would be Apple. And that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload more content just like this. Peace and love.